Ready to come to green, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bobby Pierce and Tim McCready on row number one. Here come the late models. It's showtime! Green flag in the air. Pierce McCready drag race down the back straight away for the race leader. Three wide for the third spot right now. Tim McCready's going to lead the field into turn number three. Bobby Pierce down to the bottom. Off turn number four. Who leads lap number one? It is Team Mack in 39. Tim McCready, your leader by not by much. McCready led to the start finish line by .094. Pierce taking a look back to the bottom. Dale McDowell has cleared traffic. He's up to third. McDowell now to the third spot of the 17. Pierce with a crossover move. McCready going to take a look to the inside. Second race leader in two laps. Brandon Overton working to the outside of the racetrack, pulling up alongside Dale McDowell for third. Good battle for the third spot. Now here comes Overton. Top two drivers have snuck by Clanton. No trouble. Battle for third. Overton now going to take that spot for McDowell into one. It'll be Pearson McCready broken away a bit. Now Overton to third. Brandon Overton about to make it a three-car battle for the lead. There goes McCready. Tim McCready to the top of the racetrack. Can he use the momentum and take the lead? Down the back straight away there, side by side. Brandon Overton, a three-car battle now. McCready to the lead into three. Overton to second on a four. Bobby Pierce just lost the lead. He went to third. What a race going on up front. It's McCready now. Tim McCready on the top of the racetrack. Brandon Overton has gotten by Pierce. He'll try to work through lap traffic as well. Bobby Pierce trying to take that second spot back away. McCready around the cushion. Pierce back to the inside of Overton. Here comes Pierce again. Bobby Pierce and Brandon Overton wheel to wheel for that runner-up spot. About a half a second behind Tim McCready. Brandon Shepard taking a look to the outside of Dale McDowell's 17M car. That's for fourth. Boy, if we happen to have a late race yellow, not only is the 76 fast, the B5 and the one car are rolling around the top as well. Everybody watching this battle for the race. Hey, there goes Pierce. Bobby Pierce again to the inside of the 76. BP 32's on the move. Pierce back to the inside. McCready has gone to the top. They're side by side for the lead. Oh, and Max Blair is off the pace on the front straight away. I don't think he's got anywhere to escape. We're going to keep on rolling for now. Blair got back on the gas. We'll continue to race. Tim McCready's still your race leader. He's going to try to roll around the top side of one and two. McCready again to the top in three and four. Pierce with a good drive down the back straight away again. Side by side for the lead with five to go. Tim McCready, your leader. Bobby Pierce all over him. Brandon Overton trying to, oh, and Overton with trouble. Brandon Overton going to slow on the back straight away in the 76, and the caution is going to have to fly. And there it is, a completely shredded right rear for Brandon Sh Overton here. His 76 car, they've got the new tire on. Caution lights go down, ready to go back to the green. Team act on the gas with five to go. Green flag back out. It'll be McCready and Pierce to the bottom. Hudson O'Neill, first driver to go to the outside of the racetrack. Brandon Shepard to the inside. They're going to run three wide for third. Down the back straight away. It'll be O'Neill up top. McDowell right to the middle. The B5 tried to get by him, and Hudson O'Neill went by both of them. Does Huddy have enough? Hudson O'Neill is cranked up around the outside of the rock and one. That car started 11th. He has rolled his way to third, and he's charging after Bobby Pierce now for the runner-up spot. Tim McCready, meanwhile, driving away around the bottom in the 39. Battle for second. O'Neill's going to roll by Pierce to the runner-up spot with three to go. Three laps remaining in this one. Does Hudson O'Neill have a crack at McCready? Tim McCready around the bottom. Hudson O'Neill around the top. Two to go. White flag will be out next time by Hudson O'Neill. Can he keep it out of the cushion? He's going to jump over it there just a bit. Down the back straight away, McCready. He's going to have a little bit more life here. Tim McCready's going to see the white flag. His guys told him to go to the top, see if he can protect it. Oh, and O'Neill's over the cushion with one to go. Hudson O'Neill had a shot. Looks like that's going to come to an end a couple of laps early. Down the back straight away, we will race to the checkered. Into three and out of four, he is not a bridesmaid anymore. Tim McCready wins it at 39. Volusia Speedway Park, he's climbing out. How about it, your winner, T-Mac, Tim McCready? That caution comes out, setting up a close restart. What was going through your mind? I was kind of glad it came out because uh, I thought uh, cool these tires down. I mean, I had real soft tires on tonight, and um, I was beating on them pretty hard. Uh, 
it's tough to run with these guys, man. They're all in their 20s, and I'm almost in my 50s, so I'm out there giving it all I got. Hudson O'Neill making a real quick come for you at the tail end of that race. Got up over the cutter, got into the wall, though. Was that a little nerve-wracking seeing Hudson come on the top like that? Um, I knew he'd be there. Uh, I knew what tires they put on, and probably the restart helped them because they could uh, get some clean traffic. And uh, off a of turn two, I thought I heard somebody, and I thought it was Pierce. I thought, well, you know, he's passed me a lot in the last 10 years since he started racing this, and I thought, I'm not getting beat on that top. So I just flung it through the middle and parked down here and flung it through the middle of the top at the end, and uh, we were able to hold on for this Paler Motorsports team. First one of the year, uh, new guys, new team, new car from Longhorn. Everything's great. A runner-up last night, the win tonight. Is it safe to say your confidence is pretty high the rest of Dirt Car Nationals? I mean, I try as hard as I can. Uh, my confidence probably on the outside isn't as, uh, doesn't show as much, but I, I just try to let these, these crew guys here, the ones that are down from New York that are, came over here instead of waiting to go out, they, where they're modified tomorrow, they're over here helping us. And uh, Scott, my guys here, and, and Jeff, and, and then obviously Sam's here. A bunch of guys come down here. Most of the modified people come down to watch. Uh, I love every bit of coming to Volusia for Speed Weeks. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. I just want to thank Longhorn Chassis, Coronet Power, uh, Mega Plummet of the Carolinas, Paler Motorsports, Donald, Gina, they're home. Uh, I'm sure they're happy tonight. Uh, this, is, uh, this is for them. Bill Stein shocks this whole package. Kevin's, uh, Matt, everybody that works on these cars, Tommy Greco back at the shop, uh, the whole entire shop. This is uh, for them guys. This car was built by Longhorn in the Longhorn shop, eased over to our place. and. It's, uh, it's an amazing drive.